How's it going, guys? Uh, I haven't brought you a sold video in a couple weeks, so I thought I would update you on what I've been selling. Uh, it's been been busy, been busy like always, uh, which is good. Uh, I like it. I like it like that, buying stuff and flipping stuff and just the cycle, you know, one after another. Um, I'm hoping that uh, by watching this, you guys can find you know at least one or two things that. Um, you might be able to find out in the wild, you know, at sales or thrift stores or wherever you source. And hopefully uh, you can get them cheap and flip them for a good price. Alarm's going off telling me to wake up. All right, so let's get started with some of what I've been selling on my website. Uh, I picked this up at a yard sale. Uh, this is a voice-activated R2-D2. This thing was really cool. The head like spun around and stuff and made all kinds of noise. I paid 10 for this and it sold for 48. Next up, this thing was really, really cool. I don't know if you guys have watched my um, my videos that we do for the auction website, the, the, the preview videos showing all the stuff, but this gorilla was in there. Uh, this thing was incredibly, incredibly rare. Um, no active or sold listings or completed listings on eBay. I had to look on WorthPoint to find this one. And these things do not come up for sale very often. Um, so, I mean, I, I saw one sell as high as $1,000, and the condition actually wasn't as good as this one. Um, just a really neat piece. <clears throat> and I learned about the history of this, too. This is Ford Charcoal, like the Ford Motor Company. And uh, it eventually evolved into Kingsford Charcoal. Uh, so Kingsford Charcoal um, dates back to Ford Motor Company. They've got like a whole history of it. It's pretty neat. Uh, here are the charcoal briquettes. Had the original box and uh, owner's manual and everything. Pretty cool from 1938. These sold for $83. I did not find those too, by the way. Somebody brought those in. This was pretty cool. Uh, this was a... Vibraking activator, like a vibrator thing. I was shocked that this sold for so much. Um, I guess that's got some pretty good value to it because I think a reseller bought it to flip it. Just a neat piece. Full power Vibraking. They had all kinds of goofy stuff like this back in the day that, you know, claimed it would cure all sorts of ailments. This is pretty neat. This was a uh, old brass bathroom lavatory sign. I got this at a yard sale for three bucks. Um, you know, this would neat wall decor. If you got a man cave or um, something where you display a lot of stuff, this would look cool for sure. It sold for twenty one. Uh, this was totally different. I just thought this was kind of unique. Um, th they made these ashtrays um, for the World Series. And I've seen the ashtrays come in, and they've got the same shape and everything. This one um, was unique because on one side it had the Cincinnati Reds, and on the other it had the New York Yankees. So I th I believe that this was made to, uh, you know, press onto the different ashtrays. They had one plate to make the Yankees ashtrays and the Reds ashtrays. Uh, pretty different. Somebody brought this in too. Uh, it sold for sixty three. Uh, next up, this Campbell Soup Stoneware Crock. <clears throat> I found this at a yard sale, too. This was at the same yard sale as that lavatory sign. I paid 5 bucks for it. <laughs> it sold for $2. Somebody got a really good deal on this one. Uh, this is actually fairly rare. You don't see very many of these. It came with a lid originally, and that might have hurt it. They didn't have the lid. But, I mean, just a really cool piece. It's got the Campbell Soup kit right there on the side. Um... And stoneware crocs usually bring pretty good money, so I was shocked that this sold for so low. But I'm showing this to you guys because if you find them out there, they do they do bring pretty good money. So uh, keep an eye out. Uh, next up, this was one of my favorite pieces that came in. <clears throat> so this is a Walter slash Margaret Keene Big Eyes lithograph. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Big Eyes, but it's it's really fascinating. It, um, it's kind of like a biopic or biopic or whatever you pronounce that um, about Margaret Keene and how she did all these paintings and her husband, Walter, 
um, would claim that they were his. So he claimed to be the artist for years and years and years and years. And she finally came out and said, no, it's actually me. Um, pretty, pretty wild story. Uh, but yeah, she did all these big eyes. They call them big eyes because all the kids in the uh, paints and prints have these big eyes like that. And the, that that couple, uh, Walter and Margaret, were actually one of the first ones to start selling prints. I think it was probably Walter's idea. He was selling prints of the uh, photos, and that's kind of what made that famous. This thing was really neat. We had this on our preview video. Uh, premiere preview. Jeez, I'm stumbling. Uh, basically, you put a coin in the thing, and the hand comes out and grabs it, and then the door shuts really fast. Kind of a neat little trinket item. Uh, this is a great bolo. I didn't know these were worth this kind of money. Uh, this is an Iki, I think it's pronounced, or E-I-K-I. -I. Uh, movie projector, 16 millimeter. I thought these things were paperweights, to be honest. Um, but it's it's got some pretty good value to it. Thing just looks cool too. This one fired up too, powered on and everything. Uh, the Rainbow Vacuum. You guys have probably heard Lonnie Garage Flips talk about these. I think he's sold quite a few of them, and I think the prices of them vary depending on what model you get. Um, but I, I think he sold some around $150, $200. They've got some pretty serious value to them. When you look at them, they don't look like anything special. Uh, they just look like an ugly old vacuum, but the Rainbow has some pretty good value to it. This one sold for $42, and uh, I'm pretty sure a reseller bought that one for a bit. Okay, on to my eBay stuff. Uh, I found this MacBook Pro for free. Somebody had a box at the end of the driveway with free stuff, and this was in it. Um, the back plate was off, so it was like this, uh, and didn't have the screws for the plate or anything like that. And that, that gap there, I think the hard drive is just missing. So they probably took the hard drive out. Um, but I bought a power cord for it and wired it up and it powered on. This is a terrible photo. That screen just didn't show up very well, but it just kind of had this question mark. Yeah, powered up fine. I kept the charger, you know, just as a testing thing. So I uh, sold this one for the full $49.99 plus shipping. And this one fit nicely into a uh, regional rate box A. So I got to ship that at the two-pound rate. Uh, Geiger counter. I actually found this at the same yard sale as that uh, R2-D2 toy. I paid $10 for this. It sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Feely Mealy game. <laughs> I normally don't like to buy board games because there are not too many of them that are really worth selling just because the market seems kind of flooded. But I just love the graphics on this thing. It's so funny and it's kind of a weird game. Like everybody puts their hands on this box and you can't see what's in it. And just, just a funky, weird thing straight out of the 70s. Uh, I just love those graphics. I got this at a sale and it was just, it was an estate sale and went to the basement. And they didn't have anything priced, and it was just like, make a pile and get it out of here. And I had a humongous pile of stuff. Games, you know, cars, toys, just massive. And I got it all for $30, so I probably had less than a dollar into this thing. Uh, and I sold it for $29.99 plus shipping. Uh, this Hobby Zone Firebird plane. I got this at a yard sale, and it's been a while ago. It's been at least two or three months um, they told me it was new, never used. That was not the case. Um, it definitely had some use to it. I think one of the fins had a tiny bit of damage. Let me look and see. Yeah, so the fin right here had a little bit of damage. I paid eight bucks for it, and I sat on it for a while. I ended up taking the best offer at 25 uh, plus shipping. So made a little bit, not a, not a lot of money, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, next up, this Amazon Echo power adapter. This was probably a bad, this was just a bad buy on my part. <clears throat> uh, a lady had a Amazon Echo, one of the tall, like, you know, speaker home things, and it was broken. And she said, she's like, yeah, it's broken, but I thought somebody might be able to use it. So I paid $3 for it, um, thinking I could sell it as is, and there just isn't really a market for them like that. Uh, but I salvaged the charger, and it wasn't a total loss. 
Um, Nine dollars free shipping. So after fees and everything, I probably broke even on this deal. Maybe I don't think I lost money. So. All right. Uh, next up is Belova um, men's watch case. This is kind of cool. I'll be honest. I don't remember where I got this. I think this was in a random box of stuff I bought somewhere. That's when you know you buy too much stuff is when you can't remember where you found it. Um, <clears throat> I took a best offer for this one too. Uh, I think it was $17, uh, free shipping and it shipped first class. So it's pretty cheap to ship. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, this was like a flow test military thing. I didn't know what it was. It just was cool. It had all kinds of cool knobs and everything. Just an awesome look to it. Here's the front. I think it had the case and everything. Kind of looks like an ammo case. This shipped, uh, via the, uh, global shipping program. And I took a best offer of 50 bucks, 50 bucks plus shipping on this one. Really weren't a lot of comps on that to really help guide me. All right, here is a terrific bolo for you guys. Sega Genesis game. Uh, this is Contra Hardcore. This one actually goes closer to $100, but I opted for the quicker sale, put it up for $89.99 free ship, and it sold the same day, I think. So I'm fine with taking a few, few dollars less to, to get a quick sale every now and then. This thing was clean, too, really good condition. I got this at a yard sale. There was a whole box of Sega games and the system. And there was like three or four really pretty rare Sega games um, that I did pretty well with. Um, sold one for like 40 and another for 30. I think some of them are coming up here. Okay, great courses. I think I've had some of these in every single video that sold video I've made in like the last six months. These things are great. I'm just going to keep talking about them. You can always find them for cheap. I got this complete set for a dollar. Got the whole thing for a dollar at a yard sale. <clears throat> they bought it and never used it. I had the guidebook and everything and the DVDs. <clears throat> and I sold it for $24.99 free shipping. Uh, but that great courses brand... They make all kinds of other, it's not just, you know, investing. They cover any and all topics. It's pretty cool. Um, sold this Maleficent Barbie doll for $20 plus shipping. I think this also went via the global shipping program. Been selling quite a few uh, via the global shipping. Here's another great courses, um, you know. Calculus made clear with guidebooks and everything. $12 free ship. And the great thing about these is I can ship them media mail, so really not too costly. These, I think I found at a yard sale. I still had some left over from my media pallets. That's how I learned about these great courses um, is from my media pallets. I saw that they were selling, and now that I'm seeing them out in the wild all the time, I'm picking them up. Here is another one of those Sega games that was in that lot I bought. Uh, Target Earth. Had the owner's manual, everything. Sold this one for $25 free shipping. Altered Beast. Another Sega game in that one. Uh, it was complete in the box. Sold that one for $15 free shipping. This was really cool. I showed this in a haul video I did a couple weeks back. Uh, this is an original 1977 uh, Star Wars poster. I don't believe it had any pinholes in it. I took... No, I lied. I think it does have pinholes up there. No, does it? It's hard to see. Well, I did take photos of the corners because I know they like to see those corners. And there's a little bit of piece of tape on the back. I can scroll down here. Uh, let's see. No pinholes, yeah. So no pinholes, which helps the value. You know, collectors of these things get pretty, pretty picky on the value. And if there's pinholes or any kind of damage, sometimes it hurts it. Um, this might, if this was in mint condition, I probably could have got closer to $100 for it. But as it was, I sold it for $60 plus shipping. All right, next up, this is a uh, Sony DVD recorder. And this is different than most that I see. Most of the times it's like those like VCR DVD units that happen to record DVDs. Um, this was a, a separate DVD recorder. Like it's kind of almost looks like an external hard drive or, you know, external CD drive. 
Um, but this thing has some great value. This was sealed, got it at a yard sale for $25. That was his asking price. He wouldn't budge on it, but I saw the comps were just crazy. Um, I did have the, a best offer set up on this, and somebody offered me one, and I was going back and forth with them, and they just didn't want to pay my price. But that was good, because a couple days after, somebody paid the full price of $179.99 plus shipping. Any kind of sealed Sony, like new Sony, you can find out there. Just buy it. Um, here is another Sony. This is a Walkman. I've had this for a while. This thing was, you know, kind of dirty, not in the best condition, but it did work. Paid a buck for it. It sold for $15 free shipping. Uh, another one of these Lacoste hats. I sold all three of these. I uh, got them for a dollar each at a yard sale. It's been maybe only about a month. They sold pretty quick. Lacoste is a decent brand. I don't know a lot about clothing, but you know, if I see new hats for a buck, I usually pick them up. You guys probably hear Crosley walking on the kitchen floor. Um, okay, the signature Scrabble game. Uh, I got this at a yard sale for $3. When I got it back to the warehouse and pulled it out, I noticed that the top piece that the tiles sit in had been disconnected. I guess, you know, it had been glued originally. It just came off. So I put a big notification on here. Please read. And then I put all that in the description, you know, like, hey, it's been detached. Um, if this if this was in good condition that it hadn't been detached, I probably could have got 40 or 50 bucks for it. So it took a little bit less money. Um, but, yeah, I only paid $3, sold it for $24.99 plus shipping. This is a big box, too. Kind of a pain to ship, to be honest, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, another Sony piece. I got this... Um, couple months ago at a yard sale, it was in a bundle deal, ended up paying like four or five bucks for it. Poor little portable DVD player. Not a great market for these anymore now that iPads and iPhones and Kindles and everything and all these tablets are out. You know, not a great market for portable DVD players. But they do still sell, you know, if it's a good brand and they and they work obviously. I uh, sold this one for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. And looks like I was working from home this day, taking pictures on my kitchen table. Okay, this Xbox 360 controller, I found this last weekend at a yard sale, um, paid like four or five bucks for it, I ended up doing like a bundle deal, and this was the Halo Reach edition, sold it almost right away for $17 plus shipping. All right, Braden Holtby Bobblehead, I found this <clears throat> Saturday for 50 cents. It didn't have the original box with it, unfortunately, but <clears throat> it sold pretty quick. $20 plus shipping, and the timing of this was just perfect because the Capitals are in the Stanley Cup Finals. I don't think they've ever made it to the Stanley Cup Final. Um, and this is their current goalie. At least I'm pretty sure it's their current goalie. And they're doing they're playing well, so the market is hot for this stuff. If this had the original box, I could have got 50 to $60 bucks, uh, without, the, without the box as it is, though, you know. 2025. Okay, last item uh, is this Bell Pit Boss motorcycle helmet. I got this over the weekend in that uh, Harley haul that I had with all the helmets and bags and all that stuff. Um, so I ended up paying about $10 for this one, I think, 5 or $10, and sold quickly for $29.99 plus shipping. This thing was clean too. Uh, I want to let you guys know real quick, I have made some playlists. Uh, for a lot of my videos, like um, the What I Sold videos, the Reseller Six Pack, This Week in Reselling, just all kinds of different videos I made playlists for. So I will put uh, the playlist in the description of this video. So if you guys want to go through and you know get a whole bunch of bolos at once, you can do that uh, by just watching the playlist. Um, I think that's pretty much all I got, guys. Um, heading to Tennessee, really excited about the Highway 70 sale. Can't wait. And uh, the This Week in Reselling show uh, that Lonnie and I do, we're not going to be doing that on Thursday. Um, we're going to be on the road, and we're not having internet where we're staying. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, so we won't be able to stream. But we'll probably do uh, some live streaming over the weekend. But just keep an eye out, and uh, we'll 
show you guys uh, what all we're doing down there. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.